Welcome to the third installment of our Node.js CRUD tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will explore how to enable users to edit data stored in a MySQL database by leveraging the power of Bootstrap 5 of Canvas. Providing users with the ability to modify existing data is crucial for a comprehensive CRUD application. We will guide you through and implementing an elegant edit functionality by using Bootstrap 5 of Canvas, ensuring a seamless user experience. Now let's start discussing this topic. So first we want to fetch single data. When we have click on the edit button, so we have goes to form.html file. And here we have make one fetch data function with id as argument. Under this function, we have start write Ajax request for fetch data. So here, in first option, we have to write URL, and in value, we have to write slash fetch data root name slash id variable. So here, we have pass id variable value in Ajax URL. In second option, we have to write data type option, which is set to JSON. So it will receive data from server in JSON format. After this, we have to write success callback function and this function will receive data from server. Under this function, first we want to create form with filled data. So here, we have to write of canvas body variable dot in a HTML property is equal to make data function with four parameter like Data dot ID variable, data dot name variable, data dot email variable, and edit. So it will make form with filled data of selected row data. After this, we want to change off canvas sidebar header text. So here we have to write off canvas label dot in a HTML property is equal to edit data. And lastly, we want to display off canvas sidebar. So here, we have to write off canvas variable dot show method. So it will display off canvas sidebar on web page. So here our function is ready. Now we want to call this function when we have click on edit button. So here, in jQuery initialization code, we goes to edit button code. And here we have to write on click attribute is equal to fetch data function. And under this this function parameter, we have to write dollar sign with open close bracket. And between this, we have to write data dot id variable. So it will called this function for fetch single row of data from my SQL database. Now we have goes to server dot JavaScript file, and here we have to make root for handle Ajax request. So here we have to write app.get method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash fetch data slash double colon id variable. In second parameter, we have to write callback function with request and response variable. Under this callback function, first we have to write select query for fetch single row of data. So here, we have to write query variable is equal to select star from user where id is equal to placeholder now we want to execute this query so here we have to write connection dot query method with three parameter in first parameter we have to write query variable in which we have store select query in second parameter we have to write request dot parameter dot id variable in an array format. And in third parameter, we have to write callback function with error and result variable. Now under this callback function, we have to write response.json method. And under this, we have to write result variable with zero index, so it will send single user data to Ajax request. Now for check output, first we have goes to terminal. And here, we have run this command, which will start node server. 
Now here, we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that, user data has been load, in jQuery data table, with edit and delete button. Now we want to edit or update, this user data, so we have click on, edit button. So after click on edit button, here we can see that, off canvas sidebar has been display, on web page. And under this, we can see, user form has been display, with filled data. So here, we have fetch single user data, now we have proceed, for update single user data. So here, we can see that, we have already write, javascript code, for submit form data. So now, we have directly, goes to server.javascript file, for update user data. And here, we have goes to, submit data root, which has received, form data. And here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Action variable value is equal to edit, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, first we want to write, update data query. So here, we have to write, query variable is equal to, update user table. Set name is equal to placeholder, comma email is equal to, placeholder. And under where condition, we have to write, id column is equal to, placeholder. So this query will update, user table data. Below this query, we have to write, data variable is equal to, name variable, email variable, and id variable, in an array format. And for create dynamic message, here we have to write, message variable is equal to, data has been updated, so this message will be pop up, after data has been updated. And we have already, write code for execute query, for update data. And after successfully of run query, it will send data to, Ajax request, in JSON format. So here, our code is ready, now we have goes to, terminal. And here, we have run this code, which will start node server. Friends, first here, we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that, user data has been display in jQuery data table, with edit and delete button. Now we want to, edit this user data, so we have click on, edit button, and after click on, edit button. Here we can see that, off canvas sidebar has been display, with filled form data. Now we have change, name details, of this user. And after this, we have click on this edit button, so after click on, this edit button. Here we can see that, success message like, data has been updated, on web page, with OK button. Now we have click on OK button, so here we can see that, updated user data has been display, in jQuery data table, without refresh of web page. So this way, we can update or edit user data, under this node crud application, with off canvas sidebar. In next part, we will show you, how to delete user data, under this node crud application, with Bootstrap 5 off canvas sidebar, so we will be meet in next part.